Hello pretties, welcome to Rebs Real. So, my nose is peeling. You guys, it is what it is. And I'm struggling. <laughs> and it's like really dark and gloomy outside. So if the lighting's not great, that's why. But thank God it's not one of those videos. And so my hair is so poop. So we're going to deal with it. <laughs> um, but I do have an exciting update. I, I feel like... Almost every update, I'm like getting two products out, putting two new products in, putting, taking two products out, two products in, and that's the exact same, the exact momentum I want to have. And I hope I'm able to con like keep this going till the end of the year. Um, and it's not just for this project pan. I think my other one, the one um, deck of panning, I'm having a similar situation with that one as well. But I'm excited because I just told you we're rolling two products out and we're rolling two new products in. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, let's get started with the least exciting uh, product, I feel like. And that's my Milk Maker Up bronzer, uh, cream bronzer. That's it right here. It's just a mini. Um, and it, I'm like right here. So it's rolled up all the way. Uh, not sure that's gonna, there you go. Anyway, not a good example because I'm like, my, my hands are shaking. But as you guys can see, I am like a little bit more than like halfway through it. I actually think I um, should be able to finish this by the next update. I am not going to dig the product out. I did that last time because the little like twisty thing had broken and I had more than half of this still left in it. So I decided to, you know, dig it out because it was too much product to waste. And I absolutely hated that. <laughs> it was such a hassle. Nobody was going to tell me I had to gloss my teeth. Rude. Anyway, it was such a hassle. I did not enjoy that whatsoever, but it is what it is. Anyway, I don't know why, but I feel like the sound is off in my camera for like a second. I hope that's not really what's happening. Um, another exciting one, but not as exciting as you would think, is this right here. And it's just a cream white shade. I'm like really really thin it's almost completely gone i am planning on repressing it this weekend alongside this blush that's just that fyi i wanted to tell you because i'm super proud of how then that blush is I'm gonna... but anyway yeah there's not a lot of product here i'm excited to repress it a uh, more exciting one i finally oh i just dug my finger <laughs> i finally hit pan on this bronzer i'm actually surprised how hard pressed this bronzer is from NARS because I feel like I've been using it a lot and it's not getting and I'm not getting anywhere. I will say though this last update I used it probably the least that I've ever used it. Um, so there is that. Yeah, I've just I've used it the least. I have like I said, I've been it's been really crazy at work and a lot of times I'm just kind of speeding through my makeup and skipping a lot of steps and bronzer is just one of them like today I'm not wearing any powder bronzer I am wearing my milk makeup bronzer which I feel like you can kind of see it but it's not as harsh or demanding because I'm not wearing a lot of makeup when that I'm wearing my cream blush from my Deca Panning Project pan I'm wearing wearing um slight eyeshadow, a little bit of a mascara, concealer, and then I would use my tinted moisturizer in like areas where I'm not, like not major areas. So there's that. And then the gloss, like it, it's not a lot of makeup. Um, so there's that. So this, and I've been doing this a lot where I'm like skip, it, sometimes I'm doing a little bit of powder blush, but that's it. I'm not doing highlighter. I'm not doing bronzer. There's just no time for that. And like really like doing like really crazy eye looks. I'm not having time for that. I'm like literally grabbing like a super shock, putting it all over my eyes, blending, calling it a day because I just don't have time in the mornings. Um, so this did not get the use that I would have hoped it did. But still, it did get a, a pan and I put, we'll say it is quite, quite flat. Like pretty much from everywhere you see it, it's very, very flat. So I do think if I just use it consistently, it's going to go relatively quickly. We'll see. <laughs> um, for my two more exciting ones, I was able to finally finish this dental lip balm. So pretty excited about that. Okay, and then I also have my... Um, Tinted moisturizer from ColourPop, and it just it won't really dispense anything out anymore. 
I tried to use it this morning and it was a complete fail. I ended up having to pull in a new one. Um, but this little thing honestly expanded the use out of this um, tinted moisturizer by weeks. Weeks, I'm telling you, of product that I feel like I got um, from it. It's like really actually empty inside and you can kind of like see it. I'm not sure. It's honestly so empty. But yeah, and because I, you can't really take this thing out and I don't really like cutting things, I think I feel like I got so much more use out of this thing than I would have otherwise. So I'm pretty happy about that. But calling that on empty. Pretty happy empty. So that's two makeup empties. So I'm bringing two new products in. So one is uh, one I'm expecting to have for a little while longer. But I have this Super Shock Shadow in the shade Brady. There's not a lot left. It's actually quite thin on right here. There's almost nothing right here in the center. Do you see that extra pan there? And it's mostly all the products right here. It is what I'm wearing right now in my eyes. But like I said, I'm not wearing a lot of eyeshadow right now when I'm because I'm when I'm going to work. I'm just kind of grabbing this and then just putting another Super Shock, like more sparkly one, like on top. And that's pretty much it. That's the entire effect. So I feel like I'm going through this one relatively quickly and I'm using it a lot right now. So I figure I might as well add it to the project pan so you guys can see that progress. And the other item is this one, which I thought I had lost, but is the tinted lip balm or sorry, the lip oil from ColourPop in the shade Hot Shot. And it looks actually quite opaque, but let me move things around. You're going to be able to see there is not a lot left in here. It's actually quite empty. So I just kind of want to push through it. I am working on two other lip products, but I think as soon as I finish my pink lip gloss from my deck of pen and project pen, this is going to be my main priority. And I think I may be able to finish it by the next update. Who knows? So things that I think I may be able to finish by the next update is this one right here. I think I should be able to finish this one right here. And I do believe also I might be able to finish this little shade right here. We'll see if it actually happens, but if all three of those do finish, I need to start looking at what else to bring in. I don't know. Well, that's everything for today. Please do not forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.